Hey everybody, welcome back into the shop again. Uh, Steve with Swamp Bottom Baits here. Uh, for starters, I would like to say thank you for all the support that we've had. Uh, the likes, shares, subs, uh, and what have you. Um, we are right just under 700. Um, so I very much appreciate everybody coming in and, uh, and helping us out. Uh, if there's anything that you're interested on uh, me maybe doing, or if you got some information you're looking for, if I don't know it, I will see what I can do to find it. There's a lot of resources out there, a lot of good bait makers out there. Um, and I was thinking about starting up uh, another playlist just for some in the shop type tricks, information, what have you. Um, so this one here is going to be one of those. Uh, we're going to look at how flake will change the color of your pigment. Uh, in the baits, um, I'm going to do a standard control. Then I'm going to use three different color flakes and show you how the flake will change the look of that color. So, uh, a little housekeeping, real quick. If you're interested in looking at anything we have to offer, there's a link for the tackle box, which will take you to our Etsy store. Uh, there's also a link there for swamp swag, um, shirts, hats, mugs. Uh, we've got a koozie on there just some different things we just had a couple new shirts added and thank you to neptune multimedia for uh, doing those up for us uh and the third link that's on our about page is for neptune multimedia if you need any graphics done or anything like that please give them a look into a uh, great guy does great work so without further ado let's get into uh making some baits and seeing how flake will change the the color of your baits be right back all right welcome back uh as you can see here i got three half cups this one here is already heated up so we're going to go ahead and move you over top of that one and i'm going to do up just some chartreuse they're all going to be exactly the same but i'm going to shoot it once in just this here just to give us our base chartreuse so go ahead and get 10 drops So we're just going to go with 10 drops, see what our saturation looks like with that real quick. I think we want to up it to 15. So let's put five more in there. So, and we will do 15 in both those other cups also. Yeah, that looks better. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot that real quick. Like I said, I'm just using this as a uh, a base, a standard of where we start out at. So, and the mold I'm shooting is my twerker, which is what I call the fluke style bait. And that is a do-it mold. So once that cools off, we'll pull that out. I'm going to keep one bait out of that. Just to show our starting point. And then we're going to take the other cups. We'll remelt all but one out of, the, out of this mold. We'll remelt this down and... We're going to go with a royal blue in medium, a black in medium, and then I have some generic silver here, which is roughly the same size. So, it'll take just a minute for that mold to set up, because it was cold, it was a first shot. Let's get this here out. Get this ready to put in and melt back down. Seeing that's set up already. Like I said, the mold was stone cold. So 
go ahead and open this up. And I didn't worry about degassing because I'm not worried about bubbles. This is just to get a base. So pull that off of there. And that's where we're going to go as our base. And then we're just going to show how the flake will brighten or lighten the bait. So we're going to tear this up. Get it back in there. We'll get this melted down and then we'll bring it back when we add one of our flakes. And we'll shoot again. So be right back. All right, so here we go. We've got that chartreuse melted back down again. And I'm going to start out with the silver. So I'm just going to take an eighth of a teaspoon. Put a level eighth in. Or pretty much a level eighth. Let's see uh, if it brightens it up like I'm fearing it will. Okay, it don't look like it made too much of a change. Maybe a little bit brighter. But, let's go ahead and move you up. And let's shoot it. So, and the plastic saw I'm using today is the dead-on plastics, medium red label and it looks like it brightened it a little bit so we will have to see on that I'm gonna go ahead and get my next cup in I use this mat here because this is plexiglass right here and I found out that the hot cups will cause it to warp a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next cup in. Let's top that off real quick. <laughs> and we can go ahead and clean the injector out. That should be all right to sit up there. That's going to take just a minute for it to set up enough where we can pull it out. Uh, I mean, I like to show you all real time on what it takes. Um, if you're interested in looking at... Uh, any live bait making I do that over on twitch swamp bottom baits on twitch um, I also do uh, live fishing over there on twitch so you can come over there and uh, give us a follow over there all right it's still a little wet right there but I'm thinking that we should be good on the baits so I'm thinking it's just the sprue that's wet right there. Yeah. All right. So there we go. I said I do think it brightened it up a little bit. So we'll set that off to the side. And uh, we'll show you everything at the end and how it came out. So let's go ahead and finish getting this next cup ready. And I'll bring it back when we're ready to add our flake and our pigment. All right, so here is our second cup of plastic. And let's go ahead and get in our 15 drops of chartreuse. Two, three, four. Y'all can hear my dog out there going nuts as these people go by on bicycles.
All right. So there's our 15 drops of chartreuse, and now we're going to go with the black. So, eighth of a teaspoon of black, and you'll definitely see how this darkens it up. Of course, most people know chartreuse pepper. There, you can see how that just darkened it right up. So let's go ahead and get you all up here so we can shoot this one. I've got the other cup in the vacuum chamber. I just turned the vacuum chamber on because that one there had a bit extra bubbles in it. So we'll top our mold off. I'm going to set this one on top of our uh, our cup or our you know our container with the flake in it. So that other one I'll probably have to throw back in the microwave for a minute. But we can probably, while this is setting up, we can probably go ahead and get the color in in this other one and get our flake in it all right and you can see there's some extra bubbles on top of that so i'll just flash them off let's go ahead and get our color in here our flake in here and There we go, 15. And you'll see the tone on this one change with our blue flake. It will definitely give it a blue hue. So we're using medium royal blue on this one. And the same as the others, we're just going to put in a level eighth. And you see how I turned that whole thing with a bit of a blue hue to it. Just by adding that blue flake to it. So, let's go ahead and get this back in the microwave. This is ready to demold. All right, come on. And you can see how that darkened up. So it's got a, it's a darker chartreuse. And so I'm going to go ahead and get the other one in the vacuum chamber. I'll shoot it and we'll bring it back when we're getting ready to demold that and we will show you the difference in all four. So, be back in just a minute. All right, welcome back again. So, here is the last mold. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And there it is with a blue flake. Now, see how it gave it more of a the green more of a blue color so let's go ahead and pull one of those off the mold here 
or off the runner and we'll lay it down with these and we'll get you all a close-up to see the difference trying to get a good view of it here all right so see on the top you know we just got our standard chartreuse then we get a little bit more of a lighter chartreuse when it has the silver in it more of a dark chartreuse when it has a black and then of course you get you know the like bluish green color when you add the blue to it so i appreciate you all coming in and joining me flake always kind of tripped me out how it will change your color but uh just thought i'd share that with you all and uh thank you very much for coming in and joining you all have a good day peace <laughs>